Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have Thyra. She is sharing with us her what's in my hair kit. So I'm really interested to see what she's got as far as in her hair kit because she does a lot of like elegant updos for our bride. So let's get started. Well, hi. <laughs> yes, I'm Thyra and I've been doing hair makeup for about 19 years yeah I've kind of like got my kit now to where I really have everything I need I know all the little tricks I need to have to make the day go smoothly because with weddings you never know what's gonna happen um, yeah. I would say the the very first thing in my kit that like I can't live without and I spent good money on is my my power strip so and it's a big heavy duty I think it costs like 50 bucks probably um, but I like it because it has so many um, outlets and it also has like two USB chargers um, even the, the phone chargers um, cable just in case <laughs> and so it can handle a lot of power so that's what I like and um, in St. Augustine it's important because so many um, whether it's the hotels or the bed and breakfast are very old homes so all of the rooms don't have very many outlets at all mm -hmm. like you might have a room that has one or two outlets and that's it and if it's more than um, one or two makeup artists working or hairstylists we always end up not having enough outlets so yeah. that's like my number one thing so my other thing I would say is although I always encourage brides and bridesmaids to have their hair dry mm -hmm. and wash from the day before. There's always people that don't do that. So I have to have my blow dryer just in case. Yeah. So what I do is I keep it down at the bottom of my kit um, and I only pull it out if, if I have to have to. So if um, I have someone whose hair is just completely wet, I tell them you're going to have to you know work on that while I get something else done and if they just don't have a blow dryer or um, they didn't blow dry enough then I have to pull out my blow dryer but I try not to because yeah it'll turn into everybody's using it or um, it, it's just a mess like you're, you're trying to control the day too especially with a big party mm -hmm. You have so much going on that you just want to try to keep everything <laughs> yeah, as controlled as possible. Sometimes. I do at least keep one uh, round brush with me mm -hmm. just in case because sometimes like the mother of the bride or uh, the mother of the groom or a grandma, sometimes they don't want a style. They just want their hair blown out. Which This is where I have like my more, my rat tails that are and um, that's like my thing like I want a good rat tail and I spend good money on those too so I make sure to keep those in here and my teasing comb mm -hmm. so I just got this at Hobby Lobby I don't know if you can see it yeah I have my can always focus yeah on. I have my teasing comb in there and then I have all of my um, what are they called the Cricut combs that are like the unbreakable uh high boil or like they don't get dirty all that kind of stuff so i have i have about six of those i keep those in there then i have my pins my um double prong pins so when i'm setting the hair um like if i'm doing curls and i'm just setting it then i use that and then i have all the different colors of bobby pins and then i have like all of my rubber bands so that's what i keep in here and then I have these big silver clips that I use for finger waves or just holding the hair so that's my little toolbox and then I have my ziploc that has everything in it so I have my big comb or brushes like what I'm untangling a lot of hair um, and then I have this is like my can't leave home without it comb out comb like this is like a pick on the end and it's a bone comb on the side and that's I, I have to have that okay so I have like two of those and then I have all my clips in here big clips and small clips See, like the little and big um, I have also a nozzle just in case I have to blow dry I also have my um, 
cake nozzle just in case. I have, I have two sets of curling irons. Mm -hmm. They're like one and a half mm -hmm. inch Marcel. And then I have about, I think this is a quarter of an inch. Um, that looks like a half an inch. Yeah, like a half an inch. Or three fourths. So yeah, half an inch and an inch and a half. Okay. Um, so for a bigger body wave or loose wave, and then I use this the most because most of the time with weddings, you're especially in Florida, you're trying to hold a curl, yeah. and which is impossible. So I always use this because it's a smaller curl, but I know it's gonna last longer. So it's um, good that you say that because sometimes I, whenever we talk to or whenever we do our trial or our consultation, mm -hmm. a lot of the brides don't understand that it's better to let your curls be more tighter, and mm -hmm. that way it will hold better. It it never fails that they complain that their curls fall. Yeah. So, but normally those are the ones that we start off with the bigger curl. Yeah. So to me, especially with Florida, even if it's on the colder months, it's still a more, um, it's still a, a very humid coldness or like in the summer it's a very humid heat. Mm -hmm. So it's just one of those things where it's better to be safe than sorry. And I have a regular size flat iron, which is like a, what, one like, inch. A, like a one inch. Yep. And then I have my baby flat iron. Mm -hmm. And these are like, that's another thing that I have to have, okay? So for my, um, I usually don't use it to curl. I use these for the mother of the bride, the grandma, the mother of the groom, because if they have shorter hair and I need to curl it, I need the little tiny one to get into the nape and the sides to really get those tight curls in there. And, um, and then the, the flat iron too on the top, I could add big curls or big, um, like a bump without curling it and without worried about burning their scalp <laughs> so with the short hairstyles this is important and it really really especially with short hair they're not used to having their hair styled mm -hmm. a lot of them not everybody but especially women around here if it's short they kind of just let it go mm -hmm. so to curl it like that they really like that finished look but it's not a tight curl the the baby flat iron it's the that's why I get confused it's H A I classic pro so this is HSI and this is HAI. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but this one is, I love it. I've had this for over 10 years. Oh, then I have this little, another little Ziploc that I have. This is where I keep like all of my little um, extra, like extra rubber bands, extra hair ties. I have my little for the baby hair it looks more professional than the toothbrush I have a toothbrush yeah company. so I used and that's what <laughs> I remember I was telling one of my friends in high school or junior no in like elementary school we yeah. used to walk around with the toothbrush and in, the, in, the, yeah. in our back pocket because you, you have to keep your like baby, <laughs> your baby hair, hair yeah, yeah. a couple different serums my red which is the big sexy is always for the fine hair so this serum is nice because I could use it on fine hair mm -hmm. and it's not gonna weigh it down this is perfect mm -hmm. Um, I usually use a dry shampoo, but right now this is like what comes sometimes in kits, like in sets. Yeah. So I have my little powder that works So you well. don't care for that too much, or is that really something that's a staple for your kit? Care this. for what? The powder? Yeah. I'd rather have a spray. Oh, okay. Or... Because um, I have that too, and it's like, <coughs> it's okay for me. Yeah, it's fine. It like, works, to me, if not. it comes free in something, I'm going to use it. Yeah. But um, there's this brand, Eleven Australia, they have... Uh, a little it's not a, a aerosol but it's like a little pump and I love the way that one works because it like shoots it out just the right amount but it's real light the way it should it looks like a little cloud that comes out each time oh like, the, you mean the dry shampoo or the powder yeah okay. they're the they're dry shampoo, shampoo. Right? they're okay. powder yeah so these serums that I have here are heavier so the 11 Australia for shine anti-frizz serum this is what I use it for someone who has like coarse curly hair and then also the the chi black seed oil which is I use that on myself it really moisturizes and Dry controls oil. the hair but it is not heavy this is the Kevin Murphy um, shimmer and shine so when you shake it it has like that gold mm -hmm. flakes in it they have one that's like for platinum hair so it's it's like purple flakes mm -hmm. so it can be heavy but what I've noticed that it works perfect for is 
extensions so when my brides or bridesmaids at the last minute are like oh I got some tracks can you put them in I'm like ah. this like if those tracks because normally they give you tracks that are like a hot mess like yeah. they're crumpled up they've been in the package for who knows how long mm -hmm. they don't even fit no more I spray this mess on there and it controls it like oh. it literally untangles it and makes it to where I can curl it and, and it just makes it so pretty. I don't know what the heck is in this stuff, but it's the bomb. Wow. But if I put it on hair, it's heavy. Oh, okay. So it has so, to be the hair extensions. Yeah, I like it for the hair extensions. I don't use it much on hair, but for the hair extensions, it really like um, untangles the hair, which is really hard to do with the extensions. And when you don't have a lot of time, um, it's worked like really good for me. I live in Australia. And I like it because one is like um, almost like a wet look and one is dry. So this is basically a wax or a pomade, but it's a matte finish. So it's called a matte texture styling paste. And you just, you, I use this for like the baby hairs or the little flyaway hairs. And I know it's not gonna be heavy. It, like it literally dries, like dry, it's no oil. Okay, and then this is the complete opposite. I like the smell. Mm -hmm. it this is like a, it looks like, for those of you that know, it looks like jam. Remember, like, it's like a almost gel, but almost grease, but it's not as oily as jam. So I like that for a more sleek look. Um, I like using um, that. This is the um, spray and play harder. So this is the volumizing hairspray and it's a finishing hairspray. And then this is what I use to just set everything. I have a small mirror, this one, which definitely, I would say I need something bigger. Because oh, okay. for, especially in hotels, there's never a mirror in the back. So she needs to be able, the bride or bridesmaid needs to be able to hold the mirror and see herself in the back. So I, I, I need a bigger one mm -hmm. so that they can hold up. Um, also, one of the things that I always have that, but I used it all the other day, is the little foam puffs. Mm -hmm. The like donut. The, the yeah, donut. I have that one. And um, they, they're at the Dollar Tree. Yeah. All the colors. And I like having that option because you're always going to get someone that wants a little more, um, like, volume. Like, let's say they want to updo, but they have length hair. Yeah. It's a really... Or fine hair. Right. It's really hard to create that. Or for me, it just helps me get through the style faster. Oh, okay. You know, like if, like yesterday, uh, the bride we did on Saturday. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, she she was getting a low do, but the first time I did it, um, she didn't. She wanted more volume in the bun part, so it was basically like a low bun. Mm -hmm. Well, this time I just put the donut back there and I rolled it up and pinned it in, and it's just faster because everything you need is there. You yeah. know what I mean? And it's easier because you have that. Thing to anchor everything so you could just right. put everything on the right. bun and it's easy because mm -hmm. okay. sometimes even if they have long hair it's so soft that it's the the pins just aren't like um, controlling it and I'm worried that it's gonna fall out mm -hmm. so it's almost like giving you more grip for everything to for like everything. just stay there yeah that's about it I feel like with hair there's not that many yeah um, things you have to have. All right, so that concludes all of Tyra's um, what's in my hair kit. I hope you guys learned something. I hope we encouraged you to put your kit together. If you have any questions, I'll have all of her information down below. How to contact her if you're a bride, if you're somebody that wants to book with her. If you want to see more videos just like this, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and share this video. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.